Hey guys, so Aaron Rodgers, famous quarterback, appeared once again on Pat McAfee's show to clarify his remarks about Jimmy Kimmel's involvement in Jeffrey Epstein case. Uh, it made a huge sensation last week, uh, made all the headlines that uh, Aaron actually said that when all these case files of Jeffrey Epstein uh, is gonna meet public, uh, Kimmel will be the one of the host of uh, infamous Jeffrey Epstein's Island, uh, basically where Epstein uh, molested little girls and also he had some dates with different celebrities, of course for money. So it's a huge scandal that uh, go that's going on in America for a few years now. And let's see what Aaron Rodgers said to clarify these remarks because Kimmel threatened to sue Rodgers because of what he said in that McAfee show last week. In case you missed it, last week Rogers appeared on the same show and seemed to suggest that Jimmy was going to be one of the high-profile individuals named in a batch of court documents relating to Jeffrey Epstein, who died by suicide while awaiting trial for federal sex trafficking charges in 2019. Here's what Aaron said then about Jimmy. A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't die. I don't know why Aaron Rodgers said that. It's a little bit harsh, even for Kimmel, who makes all kind of jokes about the celebrities. So he kind of deserved it because he also sometimes uh, going over the burdens. This time Aaron went too far, in my opinion. But it's uh, it's not even funny actually. Um, that what he said because a lot of people were suffering from Epstein actions. Aaron clarifies he was not accusing Jimmy of being involved with Jeffrey Epstein. I totally understand how serious an allegation of pedophilia would be. So for him to be upset about that, I get it. Did you watch the quote? Because that's exactly what I said. Verbatim what I said on the show. Okay. I'm not stupid enough, even though you think I'm an idiot and you made a lot of comments about my intelligence, but I'm not stupid enough to accuse you of that with absolutely zero evidence, uh, concrete evidence, it, that's ridiculous. Listen, sometimes for athletes it's better not to talk that much. I mean, I respect Aaron Rodgers, he's a great quarterback, uh, NFL legend. Um, unfortunately, he got injured this season, I had ho high hopes for him to play for Jets, but um, mm, what he said is not right. Even though Kimmel behaves like a jerk multiple times and uh, we all know that Kimmel can uh, go too far um, all the time. So, uh, again, he kind of deserved it, but it's two wrongs doesn't make it right. You know, I think it's impressive that a man who went to uh, Arizona State and has 10 uh, joke writers can read off a prompter. So, you know, my education at JUCO and my three semesters at Cal that I'm very proud of, uh, has worked out for me and I'm glad to see it's worked out for him as well. So I That was a good joke from Aaron. He's like, <laughs> he's so educated, so I'm glad that he can read from teleprompter. <laughs> good job at Jimmy. But um, yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes uh, this celebrities reacting to the jokes so, like, like they're so into these jokes. Joke is a joke. And sometimes, yeah, I know the comedians go too far, but that's why we love them. So I don't know why Aaron, Aaron should be more tough skinned than he is right now. One night prior, Jimmy returned for his first show of the new year and didn't waste any time addressing his recent spat with the Jets quarterback, kicking things off by clarifying he wasn't named in the Epstein documents. He also accuses Rogers of spreading misinformation. Jimmy references his past jokes about Rogers that he's made on his show, including once poking fun at the NFL quarterback for his claims about vaccines and backing a conspiracy theory linking coverage of UFOs to the Epstein list. Yeah, I guess that. I mean, uh, Aaron definitely didn't like Jimmy's jokes uh, about him. And um, again, like, it's just a joke and comedians do that all the time. So Aaron just proved that he has soft skin, even though he shouldn't care about that. But probably maybe something happened. So it's a normal real life situation. I don't want to say who's wrong, who's right. Um, Aaron apologized in his own way and I think we should get over it. Jimmy didn't apologize to Aaron for his jokes and I mean like maybe it hurt him more than Jimmy thought it would and um, yeah he made a terrible joke about Epstein's list 
and Jimmy Kimmel because like it, I, I think it's like it's a serious case and you can make jokes about it like a lot of famous people involved in this case so we will know more information coming I'm sure about that so if you like this video if you agree with any of this sides uh, Jimmy or Aaron leave me a thoughts in the comment section also like share subscribe and see you in the next one